Well, go on, Buzz Caribbean. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Philip Coombs. Some people call me Doc Ravers, isn't it? Um, and I currently work at the Kingston Public Hospital as a surgical resident. And this is my story. First and foremost, I entered in the University of the West Indies, and that is where I actually practiced medicine, right? Lived on Chancellor Hall, boarded on the campus, because I'm from the country. I'm originally from Mandeville, right? Now, I decided to do medicine because of the passion that I developed growing up seeing my father as a doctor. So I took on medicine, and now after I finished that, I went back to Mandeville to do my internship. There's a lot of, um, information that was lacking amongst patients in the rural areas. Um, I remember very clearly everybody would come in on a particular day and complain of just having sinus. And I remember my first video that I actually did on social media was about the sinus. Everybody complaining about it being an issue. But the truth is, everybody has sinus. The problem is sinusitis. The word sinus is not a bad thing. When your sinuses start to give trouble, as we would say, as them start to up, them start to drain, like, you know? Yeah, that's when you have sinusitis. So sinusitis is a real problem. So from that now, it evolved into something to another level. The second video that I made was actually on gas, and wow, that skyrocketed. And I took that opportunity to explain that gas doesn't really it's not really felt outside of the abdominal region. A lot of Jamaicans believe that you can get the cold by just walking on a cold floor. So different things like that I started to explain. And I noticed that a lot, I got a lot of positive feedback because of just the way in which it was told on social media and the way in which it was explained to persons who never really understood what the doctor was saying when they went to the clinics or to the hospital. So that is how I now began to to continue this whole journey of social media, medical videos, and really and truly, it has been a wonderful experience. I never planned this whole thing. The first video I made was literally out of frustration. Everybody coming to me about, oh, sign us this, sign us that. And I just decided to just make a video. It took me literally like five minutes. All of a sudden, I end up on TVJ, you know? People are linked me and think Dutty Berry, you have Juan Ramon, you have Quiet Perry, so many different persons and, and, and you know, it, it just really evolved into such a, a level that I never thought about and it's just because of being spontaneous or being original. So what, what we notice as well, when there is a public issue um, that's taking place currently, we try to um, collaborate in terms of how we can spread information in a useful way to the persons in Jamaica. For example, we had a dengue outbreak and you know, myself and Minister Tufton, we worked towards making videos in terms of trying to educate the population on how to get rid of dengue, how it's spread, and what are the things to do, what are the things not to do, and so on. Preventative, um, preventative measures, I should say. Um, and now also, so, so that is one big aspect that I think it has evolved into, the use of um, the Ministry of Health to try to reach a larger population of Jamaica. Because we've even done different, um, different workshops where, for example, with Jamaica Moves, trying to encourage persons to exercise more and to decrease the risk of getting heart attacks and you know, high sugar levels and those kind of things. So what I enjoy doing a lot, going out, especially with my wife, my beautiful wife, I like to go out a lot, we like to you know, socialize with friends and dance. So when I'm not at work, sometimes I try to free up, dance, I love to dance. So I go out and just enjoy myself. That's when I'm not at work and I'm not studying because you know, life is kind of hectic, but you still have to make time for everything and prioritize. You have to prioritize all your goals that you have for the day, for the week, for the year, for whenever. So I think that's where the whole Doc Rivers thing came about.